Okay, we're on 303. Welcome back and good morning. Good morning. Can we join for a second? Because mm. I really felt the beauty in this lesson while I was reading it. Thank you. The Holy Christ is born in me today. The Holy Christ is born in me today. Watch with me, angels. Watch with me today. Let all God's holy thoughts around me and be still with me while heaven's sun is born. Let earthly sounds be quiet and the sights to which I am accustomed disappear. Let Christ be welcomed here. Sorry. Let Christ be welcomed where he is at home and let him hear the sounds he understands and see but sights which show his father's love. Let him no longer be a stranger here for he is born again in me today. Your son is welcome, Father. He has come to save me from the evil self I made. He is the self that you have given me. He is but what I really am in truth. He is the son you love above all things. He is myself as you created me. It is not Christ that can be crucified Into your world, let me receive your son. The Holy Christ is born in me today. This, there's a, a different ending to the FIP version. Blasphemy. <laughs> uh, that last line. Really? Yeah, is, is, has been edited to safe in your arms, let me receive your son. Oh. Could, you, could you please read that last line from the COA version? The original into your world let me receive your son there's a footnote in coa it says quote your world is the real world see workbook lesson 301 let me see your world instead of mine. Doesn't matter. Both of them felt really good. Mm. I don't think we can spend too much time 
considering what we are when we say, I am the son of God, or I and the father are one. I think as a student, we give it a lot of lip service and we have mantras and workbook lessons that we repeat, but to really drop into our heart and have that felt experience of mm. our true identity has, as being given to us by God, that I am the son that God loves above all things, which cannot be crucified or changed or made sinful or guilty or fearful or separate. And I'm greatly encouraged by in that top paragraph, look at the word let, isn't that a beautiful word? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean do, that doesn't mean strive, that doesn't mean effort, that doesn't mean figure it out. It means dropping all defenses and let let it be done. Let God be God. Let the truth be true. Let the Christ be the Christ. So it's just, this is just about allowing. Yes, it is. It's that divine allowing, all right? And that's what helps to draw us across the bridge from... Yeah from the ego thought system or the mythical me to the holy self, the Christ. It's that letting him be him, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not my will, but thy will. And then the joy of going, oh my gosh, that will is my will. Yeah. Closing of the gap, this thought of separation between us and God. We gain everything when we drop our defenses and let. That I think that's why Jesus says the ego is so offended by how little its part is in the awakening. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. It has no part, really. No. Be still. Thank you, family. I felt that one deeply. It feels very comforting and very peaceful. Thank you. And if I got it, we all got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That was 303. We shall see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>